In the prior video where we looked at this so-called isolation transformer or what was sold as an isolation transformer and we found that it actually isn't an isolation transformer, all it is is an inductor, uh, sometimes called an auto transformer, that can step up and step down the voltage. And I drew a crude diagram which I, on the video, admitted that it was not drawn correctly. So the unit itself, we have a multi-pole switch. We have an eight-pole switch. And the way that the switch is wired determines how the transformer or the, the single coil transformer or auto transformer as it's sometimes called or a multi-tap inductor, how, it's, how it is wired. So the way that the switch is configured is depending on what position your switch is in, you've got two sets of contacts in there. You'll either have the two bottom ones closed and these two closed or it'll move up to these two or it'll move up to these two or on the top end it'll move up to those two right you've just got a, a, a switch that will short these two together so in the boost position you've got these two close together and I think it's one two three there'll be these two here are close together that's in the boost position how the unit is wired is the, the the AC line signal is applied to this switch here and it's also applied to I believe it's the third one. I'm trying to remember how this thing was, but it's connected like that. Um, you've also got jumpers in place, which connect the second and the fifth, right? And the sixth together, like that. The transformer winding is connected to, one winding is connected to that, and the other winding is connected to that side of the switch. Your AC plug is connected here, your AC outlet. And the other side of the line, the neutral side, neutral line, and neutral also is connected to the transformer. So depending on what position the switch is in, if you're in the boost position, you will be sending power from the line in, it's going to go up this direction here into the center tap of the transformer. It is going to come back out this direction into the switch, which is now closed on this side, which is going to give you your, your boost. Now, if we were to change this, okay, now we're going to flip the switch. We're going to go to the 10 volt drop. So we're going to move the switch to this way and to that side. Now our, our line voltage is going to come in. See, we've now disconnected it from this side. Our line voltage is now gonna come in on this side, go into the high side, go in backwards, and drop our voltage here, which will be completed through this side of the switch and applied to the output. And now, of course, if we were to uh, switch it just to normal, which I can do by just opening up our switch here and opening up our switch here and as you can see if we close this side of the switch here on the top side now what we've got is our line voltage is now completely disconnected from the transformer and our line voltage just goes through as it is that is how this um, type of configuration is set up it's a auto transformer or a multi-tap inductor but what I was trying to convey in the last video was that it doesn't provide isolation so if you want to see the correct way that this is drawn this is how this little unit works with the slide switch and um, it does the job 
it will boost or reduce or pass straight through depending on the position of the switch. Of course, there's one more position of that switch and that shuts everything off completely. And again, in the boost position, our line voltage comes in, it switched through the switch this way into the center tap, out the top, back down like that. Hope that uh, solves some confusion as to how this works. I do know how it works. Again, I, when I did the other uh, video and I did tell you I drew it wrong. This is the correct way that I should have drawn it before. And of course, by comparison to the, the real isolation transformer, it would have a second winding. So a real isolation transformer You know, line in, neutral, and the output isolated. Some medical grade uh, transformers, so-called isolation transformers, do this. Well, guess what? That's not isolated that removes your safety factor. So you need one that has no connection whatsoever between the primary and the secondary side. And that's what I was getting at. These uh, line conditioners that just use a inductor coil or an auto transformer um, don't provide any, any isolation. And by comparison, this is what your Variac is, okay? Your Variac is essentially just this. If we draw what I call an auto transformer, which is a variac, but it's actually a variable auto transformer. But you've got your, and then you've got your, your incoming. So you've got your live and your neutral, and then you've got your, your output. So your neutral is going to your plug. And the other side is going to your variable tap. So you can turn up and down the voltage. The line comes in at a center tap, or not quite, but not all the way at the top of the scale. That's why a, a, a very act, you can boost your voltage because the line is not going to the end of the transformer. If the line was connected to the end of the transformer winding on the Variac, you could only dial it down, you could not boost. And the amount of boost that you can get off of Variac de determine, or is determined by what percentage of the transformer is. You can only go, I think about 30, I think it's 30% is what most of them can can boost up to. They, what's mine say? Yeah, Mine goes to 130. Most of them go to about 30% of a boost. Anyway, hope that clarifies things.